Hello everybody and welcome back to Bell's channel. Today we will be doing Bell's Fallout 4 Explorer and Companion Guide Part 11. This, we're kind of, we're in Diamond City again. I have Preston as my companion now instead of Codsworth. And we've literally come back to Diamond City for the first time. And we've got like a little side quest thing, get the latest issue of public currencies. Uh, as you know, we did do an interview for it. So that is one. And we did speak to Edna and Mr. Extra, Zwicky. Extra. Is your neighbor really Are human? You sure about we have the exclusive. I am not a normal You won't girl. believe what's on the My next dear. issue. Just to wait. Perfect. I only wish I had realized that sooner. Then by the power invested in me, I pronounce you man and wife. You helped me make a very big decision. Thank you. I think I know what this love is now. All these years, I never realized how much she meant to me until she said something. Hey, Mr. Zwicky. I don't care what anyone says. We're in love. Yes. <laughs> yeah, so we did speak to Edna and we did tell her that children need all the love you can get and love conquers all, basically. Codsworth really liked saying that, but it triggered the event of where they get married. All right, so let's get the latest issue of public occurrences. Public is here to pull the wool out from under your eyes. Hey, Nat. Hey, lady. That interview you did with Piper is really selling. Here's your free copy. So, view from the vault, it's called. Part one, two, and three. Uh, I'm gonna go on these, but I'm not gonna read them. So here's like, you just pause it, I suppose. And then we continue on to part two. Good if she did better paper, wouldn't it? And not that. <clears throat> so that's like basically what we've like said to her and things like that. Do yourself a favor and just say yes. It's all he understands. So we can say yes. yes. down the home team by a swatter we got small arms long excuse arms, me ammunition. you then you need a genuine authentic custom-made hickory swatter what's a swatter <laughs> rookie eh a swatter my friend is a diamond city tradition see it, it used to be that this whole place was a stadium and two teams would meet and, and play a game called baseball one team would beat the other team to death with these things called baseball bats and and the best bats were called swatters true fact well obviously we know that's not baseball <clears throat> but Preston likes it when you say that's not baseball so that's why I'm gonna say it because that is not baseball hey dumbass that's not how baseball was played that <laughs> right little miss smarty pants if you're such an expert, how do you think it was played? It's America's pastime. I mean, seriously. It was America's pastime. A sport that united families on warm summer days. And it wasn't violent. Mostly. Sounds great. We should bring that back. I like my version better. Now, and as you see, it said, Preston admires you. Genuine, authentic. 
Not, Not interested. interested. Stop crowding my stall then. Excuse me, General. Do you have a minute? So this now we've triggered because he had mad us, we've now triggered the next part of what he wants us to say. Anytime, Preston. Look, I know I put you in an almost impossible position when I asked you to lead the Minutemen. I didn't have any right to ask you to take that on. I guess I was kind of desperate at that point. I still don't know why you said yes. If it was for me or for the Commonwealth or for some other reason. It doesn't really matter. I just want you to know that I appreciate what you've done. If you look at where we were then, to where we are now, I can hardly believe it. Thanks for the vote of confidence. It's good to hear. Especially from you. We make a good team, General. No doubt about that. I've taken up enough of your time. We'd better get back to it. Is that a real bald suit? Yeah. So yeah, now he's like, halfway to liking us. So like... We're almost there, really. So thirsty. Doctor says I can't drink liquor no more. Now this dude named Sheffield. Need a new Coca Cola. And now you talk to him. New Coca Cola. You can give him a new cola. Tell him why, because I have to go to sleep. But I do have a new cola, so I'm gonna give it to him. Here you go. Look at you, being nice to someone. Ah, <gasps> oh, thank you. Then you get pressed like that. So we've given him a new Coca Cola. And then he loved it as well. So you get a lag in love for giving Sheffield a new cola. Hey, Sheffield. What do you think about coming to work for me? Really? You... You mean it? That's right. Now in the game you can get special settlers with, well, name settlers. Um, there's Anne Hargraves and then there's obviously Sheffield and there's I think there's one or two others that you can get. But, yeah, so all you have to do is give him a new cola, which is not a lot. Um, and then you can send him to specific places. Um, I think I'm just going to send him to Sanctuary Hills. Okay, I'll, I'll do it. Basically, yeah, so now you have a seller. He doesn't add any bonuses or anything, but I think it's just a point. You know what I mean? Give a personality to it. Need some custom hardware? We've got a free so now Preston, oh, but Preston, guns? when you give him Everyone a new Coca Cola, Preston yeah, liked it as well as loved the fact the that you did it. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to leave Diamond City for now. Probably come back when I have Piper as a companion, seeing as obviously it is her town. But when I got Preston, he gave me four Minutemen quests. Four. I mean, Jesus. Um. I mean, we're not going to do every single one of these, but we're going to do three, because that one is quite difficult, but we're still going to talk to the woman, or machine, and get the quest. So, let us first, as soon as it's close, I'm going <clears> to <throat> travel to it. You know, it's literally no, not far. Like so, yeah, because this one's quite a difficult quest, you face a lot of unique enemies, um... Quite a lot of mutants, lots of mylocks as well. I mean, I'm not gonna say it's difficult, like you're gonna like, but it's going to dig in straight into our supplies. We might not have enough armor. We might even run out of ammo, and I don't really want to risk it. So let's go to Grey Garden. Nice little place here. Um south from Concord, right next to the River Bend, and north from Oblin Station. Kind of can't see, but I hope you can. It's daylight right now where I am. Alright, so if... Hold up. Don't shoot him. Where is... Just let them run off. They're only babies. Go on, go, go. I don't want them to kill him because like, that's just mean. Alright, so if we keep coming down, you'll see a light over there. That's not Grey Garden, but you can explore that, but it's not gonna 
really be interesting. This is Grey Garden, right next to the broken overpass. Here. So let's go and walk and see. Now this, well, let's just go talk to Supervisor White. I am going to collect these moot foods. That's the thing, if you go to certain settlements, they actually have food and things like that. So, um, like 10 pounds bluff, it has tomatoes, which are kind of hard to find elsewhere. So, by harvesting them, you can now use these at your own settlement. Welcome to Grey Garden, darling. This is the Commonwealth's first and only hydroponics facility, run entirely by robots. So you've got no humans, this place is familiar, you need humans, all that's ingenious. So that's, that's pretty ingenious. ingenious. I bet you can work around the clock. Never seen anything like this. Of course, darling. Our unique hierarchy allows for constant operation. You see, there are two kinds of robots here. The worker drones carry out labor and maintenance. We supervisors, that is myself, green and brown, possess sophisticated cognition processors. We are capable of complex analysis and decision making, a testament to the genius of our creator, Dr. Edward Gray. Obviously, the man was brilliant to come up with something like this. I could hardly have said it better myself, darling. Robotics and artificial intelligence were our creator's great passions, rivaled only by his love of television. Perhaps you've noticed that I possess a rather singular personality, as do the other supervisors. This took a weird turn. Why did Dr. Gray give you these unusual personalities? Genius is restless, darling. It abhors stagnation. Dr. Gray was tired of the standard Mr. Handy personality. He looked to his favorite television characters for inspiration. And we are the result. A few other things you should know. Talk to Green if you need supplies. If it's caps you require, Brown might have a few odd jobs. Ah, uh, there's one other thing. A question, really. Tell me, darling. What do you think of the water around here? I'm with the Minutemen. Did you need help with something? Why, yes. That's what I was getting at, dear. The water. It's simply ghastly. Pressure is down. Radiation is up. Why, it's practically toxic. Just think what it must be doing to my skin. This will never do. If you Minutemen can lend us a hand, I'll be eternally grateful. Agree. All right. Marvelous. Simply marvelous. Most of our water comes from the old western plant, south of here. Such an eyesore. Be a dear and pay a visit, hmm? See what you can do. Maybe tidy up the place. It must be filthy. If you can get it working again, I'm sure I can come up with something for you. So yeah, basically we've liked it and Preston loved that. Um, now before, obviously, if you get a settlement, the small jobs at each settlement becomes unavailable. Bring so talk to Brown. And there'll be caps for your pocket. Off you go then. So yeah, you can do that. Now I want to keep some of these moot foods that I've got, so I'm going to give some Look to Preston. Alive. Okay, this is what I've got. Some that I don't want to give away. If I can find them. Oh, there. I want to keep like seven, so I'll just give him seven. Where is this dude? There he is. Supervisor Brown. Ready to hand over those mute fruits. What are you offering exactly? It's two caps apiece. Yeah, I'll take those caps now. Jolly good. Here you are. Two caps 
drops a piece. So because we got eight, we get he gives us sixteen. So you know it's not great, but it's small. A supervisor green here. If you're looking to trade, then let's make a deal. Green. Green's the name, and trading's the game. Ready to bargain in the garden? All right. So you can trade with him. Now he really has shipments. Not really anything. With well, but he does about two hundred and forty-eight caps, so you can sell some things. I just realised something. Okay, so yeah, that's <coughs> sorry, I'm losing my voice. So yeah, that's this settlement. Now we're gonna go to some others. Um, we've got Torch of the Cells at Green Top. Then we've got Raider Troubles at Country Crossing. And then we've got Taking Point at Starlight Driving. So we're probably going to go Starlight Driving. Um, it's a pretty unique area. So we'll go have a look. And I, for one, I found this my favourite. My favourite settlement. Now, the reason it's my favourite is because. It's just so big, and I almost like making it like like Diamond City, in the sense of. But well, you can kind of get what it's called. Like it's a drive-in. It's like where you'll drive in and you'll watch a movie. So you imagine you're gonna have this massive movie projector, and then you're gonna have all these cars. So they're a great source of steel as well, and it, it just looks so cute. It's just one of my favourite ones, really. So there it is. Straight up, can't miss it. So as you can see, this is the movie bit theatre. And it stretches from here all the way across to over there. Now you want to stay away from that water source. It's a bit irradiated. on top of one of the cars. That thing would not go away. Alright, so we've cleared out. Yes, it has some vicious beasts known as mole rats. And my job is to open this door. You know, it's another lock. It's pretty simple to open. That's it. There's some stuff you can grab, but workshop basically open it now, um, <coughs> and then you build. I'm not going to go into the details of this area. I'm just showing you how to get it. 
obviously you can check out my settlement building guide if you want to figure out like how to stop the water in the middle being irradiated and what ideas I have for it. But so if I go to the power, build a little generator, then go to that. No, it, it, sorry, Starlight Driving does have enough. It does have the enough um, supplies. So now we have to talk to Preston, wherever he may or may not be. But we're going to go to. Oh, done. Let's just get rid of that. We need to go to Country Crossing, which is over here. And as you can see, these two are quite far away. So I think we're going to go to. Green top and then to there. So let's go. I think it's the one above actually. That one, yeah. So if we go this way, we'll start going towards Green Top. Um, if this video like runs out, then don't worry, I will be like literally continuing straight after. I will explore. Wow. Whoa. Get a few rads there. Let's take a red X. Yeah, now red X. Make sure you're resistant, or right away takes away the rads. Won't be able to pick this. Oh my god. Yeah. There's a blooming red scorpion. I hate these things. Oh, I so I literally hate them. Yeah, so watch out for this. He has a rad scorpion. A mutated fern, some gum drops. You can take the skull, the bone is actually pretty good to have. Stealth boy, so it does have some pretty good stuff here. And it jangles the moon monkey. And if you had enough that you can go get an expert in there. But I don't, so I'm not. So I'm just gonna Three radios. Okay, not creepy at all. Let's do this.
Oops. Stop there by accident. Let's just run. See, what you're supposed to do there is supposed to save the fella. <laughs> but I <laughs> should. But let's just run, shall we? I can't be dealing with that. Thing. That looks kind of cute. I don't see any enemies about. Some grenades and then you can sleep in the bed if you need to. Lots of hot flowers. They aren't valuable but they're good for when you're crafting stuff. Wildwood Cemetery. Okay. You sure that's worth taking with us? This is not creepy at all. I don't know, is there something like a part of this? Okay, just a weird man. To me, it just feels like something's gonna pop out. <laughs> There's a few buildings, I think we're just gonna have a check out of them. Messing with bones, so like, if you need bones to make oil, pretty or adhesive, I think actually, pretty good place for it. There's a candle lit over there. Oh, we're gonna go check that out. Just keep going here first. Boarded. Boarded. Some carrot flour if you need it. Hmm. I would expect like ghouls there at least, you know what I mean? I guess not, I guess it's just creepy. If you have any idea what to do with that, tell me. Like, write it in the comments if you know something. Alright, we just got 11 XP for I don't even know what. But yeah, if you do know what's going on with that, then please do tell us in the comment section. Because I have no idea. Literally, zip. No idea what to do with that. I can use crows flying around. It's even more creepy. Let me jump. The freaking deer there. Oh, dogs. It's just 
certain paths. I'll just move around him. What's that? <laughs> go on, go get them dogs. Little camp here. <sighs> Got nothing really a part of it. Just like a little camp. I'm gonna check out where that raid has come from. Looks pretty interesting. Where to next? Okay. I don't know why they talk sometimes, I really don't. Got doggy armor. Right, there's also some crates over here. I love it when you can find some weird stuff, you know what I mean? Right, um it's that way, it's not far from us now. We'll just go across the water. Do be careful around here. This isn't exactly safe territory. By the way, do not fall down here. Can you see that little thing right there? That little thing popping out? It is a death claw. Only way from it is by going into the water which naturally drugs you down into the sinkhole so please be careful I cannot stress this enough I fell down there just thought oh, I'll just go explore it I can walk down you know there's some stuff there you know and then that popped out and I was like and then all of a sudden I just got dragged into the water <laughs> I don't even know what happened and then like once you go into that sinkhole there's literally so many ghouls and literally I had run out of ammo I had no stim packs you know so I was like scavenging and oh, it just didn't work out so yeah this is I don't even know what area this is called is it Malden or something I think this is one of them bolts is yeah, Malden Middle School. This is where a vault is, by the way. But I'm going to go this way to um, Green Top Nursery. We're probably going to get the quest. 
So just watch out, there are some stick wigs around here sometimes, so just be careful. You want to find this, like, billboard. And that takes you to Green Top Nursery, as you can see. And this place has tons of food, so it's a great source. And the settlers will automatically walk to you because you're a stranger at their settlement. You're with the Minutemen, right? Yes, we are with the Minutemen. The Minutemen are always happy to help. What did you need? A pack of feral ghouls have holed up nearby. And some of them have started wandering out lately. If more of them start wandering out this way, we we may be overrun. We need someone to clear them out. Okay, where is it? Oh, National Guard training. Oh. But Preston loves that, so... Are ghouls a common problem? I don't know. Maybe there's more of them lately, but... Maybe it just feels that way sometimes. Okay, well, I'm on it. I'm on it. It's as good as done. I'll be glad to have them gone. So Preston loves it when you... Like, say, we're with the Minutemen or I'm here to help. Um, but yeah, now we're probably going to be doing these this in the next episode because the National Guard training yard is right next to the next settlement that we need to go to so you know pretty cool how that's so close anyway yeah thank you for watching I uh, hope you watch the next part part 12 and we will be clearing out the National Training Guard and speaking to the next settlement and hopefully it will be enough for Preston Garvey to give us his final dialogue and goodbye